Okay, this is the sheet in the Agdomet to Seif Ramad, okay? Because Sun Tzfun is Paisach and Shriyas and, and so on, and we can't actually learn. So we're just saying Agdomet. I'm sure the most important thing. I have more books, so people should be able to learn with me. I'm going to do it like this, if I could. The thing is like this. I don't have the Ramah myself, but this is what I want to do. The thing is like this, that... Uh, the, we discussed that the Saif Ramad is all of the base, most basic things. Yeah? What you have to know. And also the most basic in the sense of the reasons for the other things. Stimmt? Yes. Principle. And now we learned about Lech Yisrael Da Taira. We finished Lech Yisrael Taira, or Chaz Vashlomo didn't finish with it. But we have to continue a little bit to the next halacha, which is very important, at least as important by practice, after the Nishtan reality. Which is, what's the second most important thing? After Yisrael Da Taira, which is saying Yisrael Da Taira and Anil Chaz Chiva for some reason. We'll get to Chaz Chiva at some point. No, Talmud Taira is obvious that it's basic, because but it's not like a new thing, really. It's just you have to learn. Um, but the, what's the next thing after Hilchis Seidat Torah? The next thing is Hilchis. Well, we discussed that in, there is three different orders, or at least a lot of different orders. In modern Nevoich and Chayle Gimel, this is what I want to learn. In Chayle Gimel and Pai Lamed Hai, where the Ram organizes all the mitzvahs according to 14 categories of things. So we should do the reason. 14 categories of Tamiya mitzvahs. The first kvitza is... Hilchas Yisoy Da Torah and Hilchas Chiva, which is in Dayas Yisoy Dias. The second one is Isra Vedazura, which is not the second thing in Yisoy Da Torah. We discussed this a little bit. There's still more that we have to understand because there is, like we discussed, there's the Chayra, one mitzvah, and from the 50 mitzvahs that are Hilchas uh, Vedazura, there's one mitzvah that is a mitzvah Shabbat and maybe two, uh, which are the second mitzvah, mitzvah, this first mitzvah, is which is a minus of a desura. That's the only part of a desura which is a belief. Which even that is not clear what it means, but it's we, a gift, so you should know already if you were by some sheet somewhere, I explained this. But, and and another thing which is maybe an in Yashu Badas is Eliza Siri, which Rama makes into a big thing in the Dezura, Parik Bais. Rama is on, on Pshat, you're not allowed to think about a desura or read things. <coughs> Anyways, that's the second kvitzah, but we explained that that was a few stream about this. I think that in this series we clarified that in the Kedah. That is Savadazura is nisht, Avadazura too much is not a problem of truth, it's a problem of advertisement. Marketing. It's truth and advertising. Savadazura is truth and advertising, which is that you shouldn't proclaim things that will lead people to miss the more important things. Right? Stimmt? Yeah. Avoid the zura or believing? Avoid the zura. No, that's the avoid the zura. The avoid the believing dependent. There's not really any beliefs in the zura. That's what I said. Besides for one that I'm skipping for now. But all the things of the zura, which are machnish kan gatchkes, machnish kan don't do any, uh, don't pick zech to something that's not God and so on. Those are not things that are usir because they're wrong. They might be wrong and they might not be wrong, but that's a different side discussion. The problem with them is that because when you make a, you tell of a a besamigdash or a temple for something that's not the God, you and your children end up not knowing about the God, the one God. That's the problem with it. And there's even like second and third levels of that, which are like have pious because uh, the goyim of the Vedas don't have pious, and you can be like them, and then you can end up uh, and so on. Okay, that's a second group, but we're not talking about that second group either. Just uh, important to know. Okay. Not in the like I said, there's one one in halacha which maybe is, but okay. But now we're the third thing, which is not a sedatari either, but it's the third thing. And it's very important, like we said, in, in these 14 groups, three of them are Sefer Amade, three out of 14, which is a lot. Um, is El Ches Dias. What should I do? And if you open up Moira Nevoichem here, and Chayle Gemel Pai Rekla Medhai, where it says the third Kvitza, Kvitza Shlishes. It says the third kvitza is koil, the mitzvahs. I, I brought it on my paper, I don't know where the papers are. Is includes the mitzvahs that are connected with tikkun hamidas. I'll that in here. Tikkun hamidas. 
And these are the mitzvahs that are hilchis, you saw that, uh, sorry, hilchis dais. I should find that paper, but okay. Tikkun Abidus is in Ilchis Dayas. And this, now Andravam explains why, what's the point of these mitzvahs, and we'll maybe talk about the mitzvahs, what they are, and which mitzvahs are included in this. Now there's some differences within these mitzvahs, so we'll talk about all of this. But firstly, we have to, so we have to answer, and like in general, in every aloch, we have to answer these three questions. What is the main, main uh, goal? What is the main objective of all these mitzvahs that are included in Ilchis Dayas? And how it's important, how it's one of these soydas at there, right? Then we have to explain why all of the mitzvahs are included in it, right? There's always a list, not only one thing. It's always not only the general goal, which is like a mitzvah. There's like a lot of mitzvahs that Rambam, by organizing the mitzvahs into these categories, makes all the mitzvahs part of this category. And the third thing is why there's other things that are not included in this, right? Just like we discussed, why there's other things. Maybe the whole Torah is a Torah, why they're not. And so on the same thing with the Chazdais, there's more things that are, belong to the Chazdais. And for this, we have actually explicit Rambam which might help us for the question we had in other places, the same question, why certain things are about dais, but not in Hilchas dais. It says like this, Akvitz HaShlishes includes all the mitzvahs are connected with Tikkun HaMedes, and this is, this is the mitzvah Hilchas dais, okay, is this Hilchas dais, that's what it is. And what's this for? See the idea, see the idea, that with Midas HaToyves, I'm reading from Schwartz's translation, I don't know how he translates, Good midas are needed for love between people and uh, cohering people into a society, into a, a how does it, chevre, right? A medina. Yeah, the connecting people or, or uh, gathering people together into a society. You need good midas for that. And we need a society. We need a society to organize the affairs of men. Okay? So this is very important. This this is very important. Now this is a fetish in Parik of Zayin. It says fetish. So this is a, still about the general point. So what is midas for? So this is unlike, and I saw there's a whole shtiklich toyre about this and the hunting and the fetish. They're all very worried about this for some reason. But according to the Rambam, what Rambam says in Modern Nevoichim, almost all the, almost consistently, in other places he somewhat consistently says otherwise. But in Modern Nevoichim, almost consistently, it says that good midas, and we'll see even more things besides for good midas, but. As even good midas, which are something that you're supposed to habituate yourself to, right? Like what Silchas does, for example, it includes the, the most general thing is having the going in the Deirich HaMemitza, right? The middle way of each mida. And the reason for this is, so you should be able to love other people. So you should be able to, well, not literally love, uh, Aristotle calls this love, right? Philia. Uh, grouping together without being able to connect or having, having society work together, that is what midas are for. So unlike what the Rama himself says in other places, or we would say that a yid after from get the midas. Why? Why is You have to have a good midas for yourself in some sense. Like it's a mitzvah. You'll go to the Mahabah for it. Why is There's other places where he says other things. Yes, Mechalik no, Aleph. No, no. Yes, yes. And Perik Lamed Gimel Dal. Yes. There's other places where there's other things, and in other places, yes, yes. There's there's other things. I think the Teret is pushed I don't think it's such a big kash, but do that. But let's. What this is in Chazdais. Maybe those mitzvahs are not in Chazdais. It says, in other words, differently, this is very interesting. Uh, I'll talk about this in a second. But in other words, well, let's just say the theory that it says here. It says here like this. And I'll, it says more clearly in Perik Chav Zayn. If you look at Perik Chav Zayn, it says like this. In Perik Chav Zayn says, I'm reading, this is the most important Perik of Tamim Mitzvah, right? The most general Perik of Tamim Mitzvah is Perik Chav Zayn. Chalagin of Perik Chav Zayn. And Chalagin of Perik Chav Zayn states, Kavunas Klal HaToyrah, or even Kluli. The Torah means wants only two things. Which are, he calls it Tekken Hanefesh with Tekken Agif, or he translates Tekinus Hanefesh with Tekinus Agif. Because they're not taking like fixing, I mean, Shlaimus Hanefesh. Completion, perfection of the body, and perfection of the soul. And then he says, What is perfection of the soul? Correct opinions. Of course, not everyone could have the correct knowledge, so at least we give them a Shulem. So we should, you should have the correct opinions as much as you could. That's why some of the things in the Torah are Mushlem and so on. And Tekken Agif is. So it's actually interesting that in this paragraph also it says it in two different ways. Tikkun Agif is that people should be able to live with each other. That's what it says. People should be able to live with each other. That's what Tikkun Agif is. Society. And then it says, how do you have society? We need two things in order for society to live. In other words, this is all based on Ishus Reicha and Valui. If there isn't a order, a social structure, people kill each other, and then nobody lives, basically. So it's not really for society. If when we say society, like it says in the Hemshchel, it's not for society. It's, society is do- so that you should not die. 
or be sick or be busy with shtesim all the time. That's what it's for. But in order for humans, that's what it says in Pai Rekmem, in Chanak Bayes, and based on Aristotle, but humans, in order to survive, need a political structure, need cities. Humans do not survive on their own. They don't even survive literally, because lions eat them and things like that. They only survive by society. And since every society needs to be able to exist, a society you need two things. This is what he says. The harmony of the city, or society, he always says the word city, needs two things. One is, they need two things. One, that there should be some kind of justice. He's called the that there shouldn't be able to be people taking what belongs to other people. That's the first thing. The first thing of society is that nobody should be able to take, should be able to steal from, from each other or to hurt each other. You shouldn't, we shouldn't allow people to do whatever they want to other people. That's the first thing. We should force you not to do what, whatever you want, but to do what is useful for the whole, for the whole society. That's the first nekedah of having a society. Now, this is not what we call law, right? Or like in service of dinim, or most of Sefer Nezikim, Sefer Kenyan. And in other words, it's what it says in here in the Kvitsa Ha Shishis, Kvitsa Ha Mishis, more exposed explicitly. And the sixth kvitsa, which is Anshim, and the seventh kvitsa, these three kvitsas mostly, are literally this. And we notice two things. One is that these are like uh, three things. I want to, I want to, I want to be mad with three, three nikkidas about this first thing. One is that it's menias oishek, in other words, so that people don't hurt each other. It's not, not nothing positive in this, right? It's so that nobody should take things from you. We have to, not people should hurt each other by doing whatever they want, they have to be able to do only what's good for everyone else, what's good for everyone. So that's, that's step one, one thing. Another thing is that this is law, right? We should not allow. And it's even like general laws. It's not some general, some like uh, fuzzy cliche, like don't hurt someone else. That's not what we're looking for. That doesn't help us for this, for this thing. Because don't hurt anyone. Okay, what if I very much want it? So we need to not let you. It needs to be a law. And the third thing is, that that's like part of what being a law, is that it's being by force, right? There needs to be, the Ramam is very, very into force. He's not very far from an anarchist or anything like that. What's the first one, the second one? You know, the first one says that you have to, what's the first one, just the idea? The first thing is that this is nothing, when we say harmony of a state, harmony of a city, we're not harmony talking about some kind of stealing. everyone sitting around the campfire and loving each other. So harmony is not stealing. It's just a shlila, it's not hurting each other. And for this, we need to have like general rules, like nobody ever takes what that theirs. And if, ye and if yes, and that's the third thing, if yes, we cut off your hand, or whatever. We do, uh, we give anshim. That's why onish is by the like one of the main categories. It's very interesting. On like, like the, one of the whole category in the Torah is anshim. Not in, in, the, in the other, there's no such category. In the Mamash, there's maybe a sefer shoftim, the lchas nedrim, the anshim, the anshim, the Very important to him, like, it's based on hedrim, works like this. But it's like, uh, the, the force, the coercion of the, of the law, of, the, of course, of the people who are in charge of the law, is what makes society good. It's not based on making people into good people. It's not based on, uh, on like some kind of uh, general rule of like be nice to each other. It's based on coercion. It's based on Merosh al Malchus. That's the, that's the, yeah, the Ramah's understanding is always like this, that we need to force people. Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Okay, now there's a second thing. That's number one. That's one thing that we need. And like I said, this is the fifth and sixth and seventh uh, groups. And basically, Sef and Nezokim, Kenyan, and the Shoftim, more or less. Now, the second thing is... Now, this is mamish about the group, right? This is like halochas that not every Yid has to know. The judge has to know it, right? Like the, the Bezin has to know it. You don't have to really know it. But you have to know that if you're going to steal the Bezin, it's basically a, a public thing. Besides for that, in order that society should work, we need another thing. He doesn't explain this enough. I looked for someone to explain this. I didn't find all the man Makov that I saw today didn't talk about this enough. There must be Beferish uh, Aristo about this. I mean, there is, but I forgot to look it up and I didn't find the right place. But the second thing is that besides for that, I mean, there's, there's, there's famous, the Plato in the Republic talk says this. The second thing besides for that is that each person has to have good midas by himself. And good midas means, well, firstly, what does good midas mean? Good midas means midas conductive to society. That's what it means. Goodness means midas that allow you to live with others better. But it's not enough. The first thing of having law, that our course of laws, is not enough. We also need each person to, by himself, want to, right? Enough. This is not like the three things we said. Number one, it's not a general thing. Number two, it's not really, it's not even only very important. It's not a negative thing. It's also a positive thing. The Ram was going to say, we have festivals. We have Yom Toivan. 
in order to make people love each other. So it's a positive thing. We want you to feel part of our group so that, of course, so that you shouldn't steal and so that, more than not stealing, really, you should give tzedakah, you should do other things that are like helping society in a positive way. Right? So that's number one. Number two, it's, it's not a general law. In two ways, it's not a general law, right? It's not a general law in the sense of uh, it's not like a fixed law. You shouldn't always uh, do this. There are some general laws that are a bit for this, but this isn't the idea. It's not a general law. It's like, have good mitzvahs, be a mensch, and so on. It's not a general law in another way, which is that it's, it's literally for each person. It's, it's not telling that something that you have to always know that you should have good mitzvahs. It's someone, something that's an education of the individual. It's not an education of the society that has good laws. And thirdly, it's what did I say? Thirdly, it's not coercive. It's the opposite of coercive. Because the, yeah, because the point of having good medis means loving to do good. Uh, the definition of having good medis basically is, the definition of having good medis is to be a person that takes pleasure and so enjoys. Part of the other thing. Yeah, so yeah, the for, sure. Like for sure. For sure, for sure. That's why, uh, yeah, that's why the people that are, yeah, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's also something that is not, uh, like I'm saying, it's not, not the forcing you, it's the opposite. It's teaching you to love this. And it's a mitzvah to teach yourself to love, to have a good mitzvah. That's the third way in which this second thing is entirely different than the first thing of having good laws and, and forcing people to not steal and so on. Now, the Ram doesn't, I don't see here that he explains this, but like I said, uh, if you read, for example, in the Republic, Plato has the a long, uh, whole thing where it says that the laws are useless. It even says the opposite, almost. Uh, it even says laws are useless for bad men. Laws don't help, only help good people. And once you're a good person, you don't need laws. They might as well. So therefore, Plato says the purpose of laws is going to be to educate people more than the purpose of law is to, like, like the Ramam says here, like just to force to, that the judge, because the judge is uncorrupt. That's why the Ramam says, Pirko Ovest is inside the Nazik, because the real person that has to have good men is the judge. Not the, not the pushti. The pushti, if he has bad mitzvahs, his wife suffers. But if the judge has bad mitzvahs, then the whole world suffers, right? So that's why, in certain sense, it's even true. And I don't know if the Ramah says I have to find places, but this is like in, in Socrates, it's this. In certain sense, it turns out that there's at least a pshat in the laws, that the laws are really to teach you to have good mitzvahs. And that's why, for example, um, yeah, whoever, if you want to mitzvahs, on a chusiz, or makaz, or nazikin, right? What this means is, one of the things it means is that. There's, there's, like in Yeshiva, they teach you Bavakama, Bavatsiya, and the point is not only that you should become a Dayan and apply the point is that by learning these laws, the laws are having education. Because it's supposed to teach you, uh, you know, to respect other people's money and, and all kinds of things like that. So, and without that, this is very important. Without having, it's true. I mean, there's some truth in this. Of course, you could say you're going to force everyone, but who's going to force? Well, at least I know that from getting this. We discussed it in a different sheet. Uh, about this. And, and therefore, at least one of the purposes of the law is this, that the yoche, that the, each individual should have good midas, and then you'll be able to have laws. There's still a difference, because I think there's some laws that you could say they're not about good, like good midas, they're just about organizing things. Like there's some halachas, like how do you make a kenyan? It doesn't really make a difference how you make a kenyan, but there has to be one way that we shouldn't have conflicts every day that I buy it yet, they're not. So those laws are literally only like menias oishek. The halacha that says, a Kenyan, when, when is it yours? When you made Mashiach? What? Why do you put those two together? Because it's a, which two? Meaning there's laws of the side. When something is Yeah, it's Menias Oishak in the sense of organizing certain things. Because if we wouldn't have an agreed upon, the Iker is that should be agreed. If everyone wouldn't agree that with, with Mashiach or without Mashiach. But the question is, there is something called mine. But it's not going to do with laws. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, would, 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 of course. Of course. Kenya lines stand people. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean like Hilchis Kenyunim, like what the yeah. Kenyan mostly talks about, which is like not that you shouldn't take something that's not yours. But like when, if I buy something, when does it stop? When, cool? Yeah, when does it, when it's the limits, right? It's always the, the gvilas, the, that thing is important for, for society, for not everyone fighting all the time. But it doesn't, not necessarily when you learn that Mashiach helps or back by Metaltlan, back boy, and it's not going to t make you a better person if you do it like this or like that. The main thing is that everyone agrees uh, that it's like this and not like that. In that sense, it's not, that's what I'm saying. You could, it's not, right, it doesn't have any, in other words, if I'm in a, mount, in a mountain somewhere, 
And there's no other yid. It's not clear that I have to be mukar. <laughs> it's not going to help me. And maybe, well, that's not in the because I'm saying, but it's, it's only a halacha that's chal in the cloud, exactly. It's only worth, it's only a kludistic thing. And it doesn't have the value, but. I'm saying that it's not, uh, it's not about yid. Okay. <laughs> The whole esri. Okay, Rash, I don't understand this whole esri with lechem. Point is, uh, yeah, okay, that's, I don't know. The point is that there's two, so let's go back. There's two things. One is laws, and general laws, which are forced and which are general, and these are halachas kenyunim. Like I said, even some of them are not teaching you anything. Mitzad midas, they don't, you don't become a better person by, by yourself, by, by being mekayim halachas kenyunim. The society becomes better, because there's this order, and there's kenaf kevelt, but you don't become a better person. And then there's middas that are for you to become a better person. Like I said, there might even be laws that are, when you learn them, you become a better person. The, the Rama doesn't say that. They'll just say that it's a, it, when he says this, that we need both, what he's really saying is that it's not enough to have just laws. And you can think, you know, that's why you go to people and they say, uh, you know, the Torah is great, but the people that are Makayim are not good. That's useless. Uh, I get the Torah, was kind of Makayim, it doesn't help anyone. Uh, it's good that it's in the book, but it doesn't help uh, in reality. And, and the Rama sees a big part of the Torah as the training or the education of people. Uh, to actually be mekayimet. In other words, not just that about the truth. Like, the Amazon shine has to actually work, and therefore it has to do all kinds of tricks, and all kinds of tachbilas, and all kinds of uh, educational things, so it should work. Yeah. What? There's two elements. That's where it's one of the products of faith. Here? It doesn't say this here. It's this uh, other things. It says, not, it says here also, but about, about that. Is, Yes, yes, yes. But now we're talking about now we're talking not about knowing yeah. the truth because it's truth. We're talking about having good midas, and and, and in a certain sense, midas uh, itself. That's what I'm saying. Midas itself. Has uh, nah, this is this is the I'm not sure. In other words, I mean, over here it says clearly that midas, it, the midas that we're talking about here, it could be there's the two different midas. And that's what I'm saying. Now we're talking about the dais. Here it doesn't say the word the dais. It does say. It's referring to it later when we learn in Parik Lamatai, where it said that Hilchas Dais is, is so that, then it says clear that Hilchas Dais is Kedai, Shabimidis, Tatoiv, Steshlam, Noarais, that you should have society. This is referring to what it says here. What you're saying that in other places we have Hilchas Midis Toivis that have different purpose, we have to be in, in that place. But over here it says clear that Hilchas Dais is this. It could be, it's a problem. Hilchas Dais also has this whole thing from which seems to not only be that. Even Hilchas Dais has the whole Pyrrhic about that. And so it, it's a problem. I know that people say this is a problem. I'm not sure it's a real problem, but this is, people say that this is a problem. A lot of people, a lot of hunting people have this problem. Maybe not only hunting people, the Farsham have this problem always. But Al Kapuna over here it says that Tilchis Dais are things that are uh, are good are good made. This like I say. So Hilchis Dais is not the general. So let's go back. If we go back to Hilchis Dais, Hilchis is the laws, right? The laws are and so on. is the din, finob, and gitamidis personally. But the reason for that is that therefore you should love your fellow neighbors and therefore you should, uh, uh, therefore you should, um, you know, they should be able to go to society. That's why if you look at the Chazdaiz inside, you'll see that a big part of it actually is very focused on this. People don't realize, people think that the Chazdaiz is a pisnocha avoid sashem to gitamidis. And for some reason, the Raman talks at length about. Uh, for example, if you open the Chazdais, you'll see a famous tickle, right? The Udam Nimshach Achar. The Chazdais goes like this, okay? If, if I'll tell you the general structure of the Chazdais, it looks like this, okay? And he has it also. The first two prokim, there's Hilchis, Hilchis Deirich Hamimitza, okay? With him clearly. Hilchis Deirich Hamimitza. Then, by the Gimel and Dal, about about Briis Shleimis Hagif. That's what they're about. By the Gimel, with him clearly. By the Gimel, with him clearly. Hilchis Refia. But also like Parik Aleph and Bayad also like Rosh Tikla Klal Naprat similarly, okay. Then Parik has Bar Tam Tchochem. Tam Tchochem Tafum has a special Hilchas Dais, which is interesting. I don't know right now. And Parik Vuv and Zayin are about society. What? Which goes against your theory. Why? No, no, no. That's it's no, no. He said it's not clear why. He, he, by the way, it's, you have to. Know, I said it. That's the, you, have to, you have to know why Tam Tchochem needs different Dais and what they're for. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm talking about one thing. This, uh, it's not clear to me why that. It could be that it has to do with the Chizkit Hashem. It could be it has to do with uh, that these are really the good guys. Just not everyone cares about. It. I don't know the. I don't really know what's the pshat in this. Uh, there's some certain things that are like you're saying, and certain things are not. 
I learned this and I don't know exactly simply the Tarit. But anyways, Pari Gvov, very important, Pari Gvov and Zayin are Hilchis. I'm not Hilchis, but Lachavayit. Until here, it's not really Alochis. Everything is Alochis, but it's Tavis. But it's not like any mitzvah. Most of the mitzvahs in Lachazayit are Pari Gvov and Zayin. If you look in the... If you look in, no, literally, if you look in the list of mitzvahs, there's 10 mitzvahs in the Chazdaiz. The first one is Barak Aleph, <laughs> and all the other ones, from Bais until Yid Aleph, actually, the 11 mitzvahs are in Barak Vov Zayin. And the first one is Lituvuk Biyodov, and Al Kapunim, and then Barak Vov has the Sakdoma as a man, and therefore it's a mitzvah to be Mdag with Sadiqim, and therefore uh, you have to love all the Eden, and therefore Abbas Agir, and therefore a lot of other, all, the rest of the halukhas that he put into this. And that's important. That's not some random thing that he belongs here, but because Hilchas Dais has as its goal, at least, like, no, the way I'm saying it makes sense. Uh, maybe Tan Tuchum is special. I don't know about the Tan Tuchum, but it makes sense that it's saying that you have to have good this personally. And then, the Batatua from this is that you're going to have a good society, and therefore you have to make sure they have a good society. And also, the Zabchlala Mitzvah to go to a good society because you're going to become Nishpa. But really, Midas and society is not like two separate things. Like, no and get to Midas, the Voiner and the The part, the Midas Toivis are. Are very much at their base social. They're at their base uh, between Banudum Lachavar, like we said. Banudum Lachavar, and Banudum Lachavar, Banudum Lachavar, Kedail Shayel Banudum Lachavar. And that's, that's the, that's the, that's what it says here. Uh, it says here, Befarish. Okay, that's what, the, that's about the goal. The goal, and also the understand. By the way, this also has to do with Ram's understanding, or at least one of, one aspect of his understanding of what Midas are. Because we usually think that Midas has like some, Oh, Chavaisish was my Jemayin and But most of the time we think of Midas as internal things. Like uh, Midas, as Nandrevet, we think like this. Like there's there's Chavis Halev Urem, like the Chavis Halev says, there's things that you have to do, and then there's like f- things that you have to feel. Like uh, Midas Akas, that you shouldn't feel Kas. And Midas HaGavah, that you shouldn't feel Gavah. And Midas ha, whatever other Midas uh, we care about, most of, usually we think of them as feelings. Or things, internal things. Things that are internal to a person. Like Chavos Lovus uh, is clear, clearly based in this way. I don't know if he talks about Midas, but not the But this is how we usually think about this. In other words, we think that Midas are about something that happens between you and yourself. And the Ram Zalchazdais is explicitly not about this. In other words, if someone. Uh, that's why it could be that there's other mitzvahs, there's such a thing as Midas that has to do with that, but that's not what he's talking about in Zalchazdais. Or at least basically, Alamul is do zachin was kim naran. It's always there's always prutim that don't match into the cloud. We have to say the cloud. It's a problem. There's always going to be prutim that we're going to ask kash. But in general, the ram is the chazais, and also in, in general, the Aristotle's ethics are in some sense also over there. There's etzim in the cloud. But in general, there's el um, chazais is not lemushal kas is not bad because. There's, okay, there's also a theory about Kaas and Chazdaiz, and it's also based on these two Kaas, theories, Kaas, different, Kaas, different, Kaas. different theories about, Ka, about Kaas. But Al Kapuna, the main thing that we're talking about here is something that is, really, is an interaction between two people. It's not about how you feel. In other words, uh, if someone feels very uh, something and he doesn't uh, express it or anything, it doesn't make a difference to Chazdaiz. It's not over on Volach to Bedrochov. And Chavaf al not my Ra'ad al Amaz Ra'ad, and Chalak al Fadakni and something, that I wish that Chazdaiz feelings. No, the Ram says it's not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Machshel, I have such kind of feelings, which means the Ibis only has actions, or you could say interactions between him and other things, which is that's also complicated. Is true? No, no, it's a pshat. It's a pshat. It's not just a pshat from literally the most push pshat, but it's true. The Valacht Bedrochov means doing actions, but this is true. In the Ram, Valacht Bedrochov doesn't mean feelings. So it means actions. There are feelings, like Havir maybe is a feeling, but there's actions, and that's why it doesn't, uh, like, uh, it could be, like, the thing is that, uh, it could be that people's actions are based on their feelings. That's why it's a mitzvah to be mechanach, your act, your feelings, so that you should have good actions. But the reason why not to have cast in your heart is not because we're worried about your heart, it's because we're worried about your wife. Just usually what's in your heart comes out to your wife, so it's important to, to take it out of your heart. But it's not because we want. There is a there is a different direction of the whole dais, like we said. It's towards God. But th- this one that's towards the people is the point of. And that's why it's also much easier because we we get very stuck with midas because we have a lot of feelings that don't stem with those midas. But actions are much easier to control. And not only that, the whole theory of of, of ethics is that the, your actions are going to cause you to then become used to it, and then it's going to become internal also. <laughs> so yeah, and not only that, but like that's really how it works. It's not like a trick. Uh, the Chosovo says that the Chinuch makes it sound like a trick, but this is really what Midas are, and, and, and it's just habits. Midas, the attached of Midas is habits, 
and therefore, yeah, yeah, this is in the fish, of course. I don't say anything else. And, and, and since it just habits, so if you keep on doing it, then it's going to be easier next time. Meaning, you can say you're gonna, it's going to be in your heart, but it's not about your heart. Nishtal Zivi, the Chesidish Fuhri, more other people that are always worried about, maybe the Chesidish they were worried about purifying your heart. Tilch's is not about purifying your heart. Tilch's is about purifying your actions. The only thing is, now what, now back to what we we're saying, like we say here in Perich of Zion, the only thing is that there's different, like there's, there's mitzvahs, like put on film every day, that's mamasha action, kachaze. Uh, but here, it's more broad than that, because we say, for example, Chavaz, uh, what's the that he says, you should have the Deirich HaMitzah, right? You should, Yilzana Gitter, but not Tziah Gitter, okay? I, I, uh, well, he calls it a Kamtzna Kiliv, this, yeah? It's game, but not you feel, you know? Leave something for yourself also. Uh, uh, and that's, that's like a Midah, right? It's not like saying, Tilka Sadoka has his own Gedurim, but it's not about Sadoka, it's about everything. And it's saying, you have to practice, like it says in Bereshim Shnai, you practice giving a lot of tzedakah, it's not that you say, girl, it's interesting what tzedakah is, this is Hilchus Midas. And it's a mitzvah of Na'atzmo, like the din of Na'atzmo of Hilchus Da'as is, you should practice until you're the right amount of good person. Right? The right amount of giving person, like good is the wrong thing, but the, the good is this, but the right amount of, what's the middle I get there, right? The right amount of, of a giving, or a, uh, how do you say the opposite, how do you say in English, uh, uh, no? the opposite of a Kamsen, right? I don't know. Uh, there's a word for it, I forgot. Uh, that, that you should practice that. And that's like, that. the mitzvah is to practice that, okay? because that's the best way in, in which the society will work. That's the best way in which, in which you, will be, you, will give, you will help other people by having that mid. Right? Just like, and it could, it could even be that certain mitzvahs. Now, that's, not, that's what I'm going to get to in the, in the next shikl about, about defining this better. But this is the din the kid of El Chazdai, the kid of El is the the chaylika tiknan hamedina, which is that every person personally should have good midas, and these midas are like we said, they're not like halochas kviyas. Very hard to say at least what the exact halochas like derech hamitzah and guy what derech hamitzah is, and all kinds of things. But it's that. There's, it's also more things like we still. There's more things like that, but that's the first that Ramam says himself that this is the main thing here, and you also see that himself himself that there's more things. If you go to parik, no, if you go to parik lamed zayin. Okay, we have to also go to learn the end of Parik Lamed High, and then maybe we should do this first. Let's do the Parik, parik Lamed Ches. Sorry, Lamed, uh, which the Parik is about Midas? Parik Lamed Ches, okay? Parik Lamed Ches, this is about the, the second question, then we'll go back to the end of Parik Lamed uh, High and, and talk about something else. And, and Parik Lamed Ches, the so Dram makes, right, he makes his general 14 clues in Parik Lamed High, and then he gives 14 chapters for each, uh, each group. And, and here he talks about Hilchas Dais. And so this is again for us to know clearer. What is the Hilchas Da'as? And it says, it doesn't really say anything more than it said before. It says, there's the, the, third, the third group is Hilchas Da'as, and the Teilis is clear, everyone understands, it's clear. Why? Because these are all Midas. In other words, it says, you read all these Midas that I said in Hilchas Da'as, and you'll see that each one of them is something that the togetherness of people will be with these Midas. It's very clear that if you, uh, what are the Midas that he counts in Hilchas Da'as? I don't even know which one he wants us to count, but... Maybe even the things like later, right? Like is Dabu Tam Nukhumim and Havish Srol and Nanat Lisitness Khichu and the Khokha and and so on, all these things and Achilles, it's very obvious to see that these are things that are gonna help you live with other people. It's not Dafnish Maz was on like uh, someone says, maybe Rechilis will help you better live with other people if you do speak Rechilis, man. Push it does that it doesn't help and shine. So that he says you don't have to Marach doesn't mean, doesn't go into details because I think that all the thi- all of these uh, mitzvahs are very clearly that. I don't think anyone has, uh, of course, there's some details that you're going to be able to ask about, but even clearly it's very obvious, and he doesn't like saying things that are obvious. Okay, and then he says a new, a new thing. This is about the things that are not included, right? And this is the Rambam, da. That the, many other mitzvahs, Kavun Yishlal Kama mitzvahs, Lachnes Midamil, there's many other mitzvahs besides Filchaz Da'is. In other words, Filchaz Da'is is the mitzvahs that are clearly, literally says this, Lois Tis Tzachichu, says this, Ashlech Temeda, Habun Yishlal Ashlech Temeda, okay? Now, but besides for that, there's Kama Andre mitzvahs, Whose point is to have good midas? Af shine masim shechoyish from gzayis akusiv l'letachas. Some mitzvahs that people think are gzayis akusiv. Um, I don't have a good example. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I think there are things that are not nochas dais. He says it says clearly. No, no, no. No, he says besides. No, he says before. Read, read until then. He says. I'm, I'm, I'm. And he says in the nevar oisam mekom esayim. There's more mitzvahs that people think are gzayis akusiv. The Mushal, the Chavad, the Lamazog mitzvahs be mitzvahs be kiirim. The Chavad is not not a good example. Yeah, yeah, he says, he says, he says. Avol, Avol, and less, less than the sentence like this. All the day was some looking in the chazdas. Avol, Eilish, Shemini, and the chazdas. I don't know what uh, I could look in the old translation and see exactly the same language that it says. But the ones from the chazdas are not these. They're the ones 
that are befetish lachnas oisim medes nechpodes. You see that it says that. Yeah. So in other words, it turns out something interesting. I don't know if this is a good definition. It seems he seems to be saying that so now that he has a chiddush, koyim mitzvah is a chiddush. You think that some mitzvah like zaris akusiv, and this is the Rambam's general thing in tamei mitzvahs. There is almost there is actually no zaris akusiv. Zaris akusiv is always our understanding, not understanding things, so we call it zaris akusiv. But zaris akusiv always actually does have a tam. Sometimes we do know, sometimes we don't know, but always has a tam. Like it says, Beferish of Pyrrhic before, Pyrrhic whatever, the Xaris Akusiv does not exist. And, for example, Chavais, Lemushl, Mitzvah, Shel. I mean, some of them are also pretty obvious, man, if you look in Chavais, was to be Machna, Leisans, Gir Evdel Adoina. You understand that it's a good mid, and so on. Um, and many other things. But he says some things, I don't know, I'm thinking of one that's, uh, that's Xaris Akusiv, maybe Dagdalid Minim. I don't know, that would mean people think it's a Xaris Akusiv, but Lamas, it gives you a certain good mid. It's also a certain good diet, but also a certain good mid, or Shabbos, things like that. The Ram says Beferish, these kind of things. Uh, the mid is the Lank and the Ravish, the Lank and also there's a mid of not being a Malgav, of remembering that you are, you are once poor. But kids said there's ways of explaining everything that's a good mid. And you think it's a Xaris Akusiv, it's the Nishkan Xaris Akusiv. So that's, that's number one. And then there's a Kash. So if I, in other words, you have to remember the Ram and Parikh of Zion said that most mitzvahs are about this, really. Most mitzvahs are about good mitzvahs, not only all mitzvahs. It, it says, I think, I think it says beferish in, uh, in most mitzvahs are, in other words, mitzvahs can only be two things. It can only be either a good diet or a good mitzvah. That's all of them. So, Kim, and I don't know how many mitzvahs are good diets. Like, uh, before, of course, the Chavad Zura and these things, but Shabbos, Kenz Tazur, and so on. But in many, almost all other mitzvahs are about having good mitzvahs. So, almost all of them. Again, either good ma- so a half, I don't know, not making a list. Then he fills in the rav, or how you, I don't even know how the list would work. But a lot of them, in other words, this becomes a kasher for him, right? Tilchas Dais is only 11 mitzvahs, it should at least be 300 mitzvahs. And just like Tilchas Vadezur, he made 50 mitzvahs, even some of them, they're nothing to do with Vadezur, only according to his town. And even then, he already said there's even more, there are not Tilchas Vadezur like Klein, which doesn't belong to Tilchas for whatever reason, but it is really about Vadezur. And they say the same thing is true about Dais. So which ones belong to Tilchas and which one not? So this is the kasha, right? This is the same. This is the kasha that we asked explicitly about the Zura, and we ask and get here again. And the teretz is look the Ram the teretz is, of course. So in other words, this, it's a kasha shtikl on the Ramam's tamim, right? If the Ramam says that the tam fin 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 dalad minim chmas fin bekirim is to have a good mid, then why is it not nil chazdayis? Chmas, it's a kasha on him himself on himself. Chmas, but Kelly, it sounds like a shtikl kasha on his whole thing that rov toiris for good midas. Then chmas, there's already nil chazdayis for that. And the teretz look there's the teretz is. The Teret says that these are befetish. That's, that's the only Teret the, the that, that he says. In other words, So it's literally saying, have a good middah. Befetish. So obviously the reason, ask a question, why? What does it mean befetish? Maybe, it's a, there's two ways that you could read this word befetish. That's why I'm thinking. One is about the Teret, right? So, uh, so if it says, no, so it's clear that the reason why Lesisno, or maybe Lesiko, Mechmasvos, the reason for doing that is because it's a, because it's a bad middah. Maybe not. Maybe it's exactly like Kusif. The answer, the drama would say the answer is like, come on. If it says clearly that this is why, then why are you trying to make things worse for no reason? Um, but, it's a, but it's befetish. So is how, how is it befetish? As I'm asking you. Does it say in the Torah, Well, it doesn't, wouldn't even make sense. Because... It's something like you said before that, that when the Torah says when something is just just true, then I can't tell you why is so why should he do this because it's true, and in some similar way, not exactly a similar way because midas tovim themselves have another level of reason, but when I tell you have a good midah, that's what I'm telling you. So shine. I'm not sure. I'm, 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 I'm too much in the, in the, in the reading. I think he means the general. He's talking about everything that isn't safe in in, in Hilkas Dayas. No, but then he says Aval or certain ones that we talk at don't in Islam in Hilkas Dayas. No, I don't think so. But it says we've had it. Ava, then if 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 it does, Aber Aber Davis and Hilkas Dayas, and Davis and him a fetish. He says, I should put in Hilkas Dayas. He's by the kilom the fetish. It means the clothes of what I'm trying to tell you. Is, is no, no, no. Bekila means each of them. Yeah, you could look in the in the in the thing, but Bekila. 
No, because otherwise you already said this. What he's saying here, I'm pretty sure that, I, again, I think that's what he says. But uh, he says, when Mekomesheim means not in Elchaz Da'is. Later, when, when you'll read, I'll, te- I'll tell you that, uh, no, oh, you may be thinking, oh, Shlich HaKan. The Ramah says, Shlich HaKan. People say it's Gzair HaKus, if it's not really Gzair HaKus, if it's to teach you good midas. Ah, the Mishnah says, Sonia Machloik, Estoyris, whatever it is. Whatever it is, but so that one is also really Elchaz Da'is. But these that are Befedah, these, what, so, so what's the difference between that one and this one? So he says that these one it says beferish in the chod it says in the Torah beferish that it's, that the kavun is to have these good midas. That's what I think beferish means. That's what I think he's trying to say. And I think that these these people are uh, uh, also translate this. I don't see how you could say make it say something else. I just don't know. Uh, yeah, eilish it says in, in here. Oh, one said eilish but but everyone else is translating eilish nini the ones that I put in the elchas da'as. Because he's the one that made Al-Khazdais, right? Khmer Al-Khazdais is not something that says that Torah, it's a category that he made. Um, yeah. I think that that's the... That's what he's saying. I'm just not sure what to... So if it's Mefetish, so it would be easier for the Ramam to put these in Al-Khazdais because it says Mefetish, so that's where it belongs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Mefetish means. It could just mean that, or it could mean like we said last time, that the fetish ha- that these are more direct. In other words, uh, like mamish hamitz, but not to have the mid of sinna. The mid of sinna, sinna sisrol, or whatever, whatever exactly the mid is, it's mamish isa. This itself is one of the tarig mitzvahs. Then, then, so when you're not when you when the matnish found the chava, you're mekayim mitzvahs lesis sechichul vech. Whatever when you're not when you tell them that you hate them, right? The mitzvah is not not isa to hate them. This is not to hate them without telling them. You tell them, then it's put as the chiyut. But uh, when you do the mitzvahs bekirim, let's say, or shli haken, you're not directly, you're not directly having a good mitzvah. It's a training, of course. It's a ha'aitzek, like a ha'aitzek, or it's a ha'aitzek. And, and not only that, it could be someone that does it without getting a good mitzvah, which is another problem that we have to figure out. But that's why, I think that, that I don't know if that's what befetish means. Maybe befetish is just, uh, it depends how you translate some places. It says, kavunus some befetish, it says, mefetish wuhen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how, you have to, I have to look in the, in the original. See what it really says. But this seems to be the, the difference. In other words, yeah, in other words, there's a lot of other mitzvahs that are really about the Chazdais. Maybe all of them will find, uh, I'm going to we'll have to learn the uh, end of Pari to see if it's all of them or which ones of them. Maybe almost all of them, but uh, they're not befetish. Or maybe they're not direct or it's not befetish. So the Chazdais is the ones, so from, from maybe from the fact that the Chazdais, we could see that this, we don't see in the Torah that this is important, right? I don't think so. We can see that the Torah is more and more important than the other things. I'm asking you. The Rambam holds like this because the the point of most mitzvahs is either dies, is all mitzvahs either dies or mitzvahs, or either dies in our sense or dies in his sense, right? Hilchas dies. Um, and oh, not only the Rambam, also Rabbi Chaim Vital holds like this, and other all the all the other people that are into pnimius hold like this. Um, I think that the biggest makar I was learning today in the Chesheva, the biggest makar that Ram has for this is all the neviim that say that chdafch kan karbunas for mention was gavvanan. The chmashma is gavvanan is maybe even the reason we have karbunas not to steal, or maybe I wish to hate you so much when you steal that he doesn't want to list their karbunas. Is this in the Gemara or is the Gemara makes a bit then? What's that then? Ah, kolm v'zeiv chashem. Of course, it's possible. <laughs> I don't know if every Rusha, which is not exactly the, uh, the, the thing. I think that's an interesting Mekar. Um, but I don't know where. Okay, that's not something that he says here. That's, I'm just saying uh, things by myself. Okay, then. Uh, I, I, <laughs> um, yeah, the maybe the is just that. Uh, since the mitzvah, since the Ram thinks that the mitzvahs have to have a tam, and this is the best tam that he could find for them, so it has to be like this. Mm. There's another. There's other ways. There's a lot of ways. So, like we discussed before, there's there's other there's other ma'alach in the whole thing of midas, which maybe talk about other midas, like lemushal. Uh, in other words, like in other places, he says that if you have bad midas, you're not going to be able to have a soga, and and that's one thing. Another thing is that he says that midas have a to bedrochav. Which other people interpret. Dram doesn't say it like this, because Dram, like I said, Dram, Dram, Adrochov is only Masov, and therefore even that is not clear what it exactly means, because 
maybe there's a lot of dinner in the mass, and so we have to make a whole stick of toilet that it means the mass that I wish the ones you to do, those are the mass, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, or maybe the mass. The? Yeah, that what? No, I'm saying when he. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying in the, in the there is cast. The Ibsh has cast in his mass in the, in the sense of in the sense of that if you go in and the, if there's an earthquake or something, that's called Ibsh is cast in mass. There's the Ramah fetish and 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 but then so maybe we should make earthquakes all the time. So that's the most of the time Ibsh does make earthquakes. So you have to do like him and most of the time not make earthquakes. Only sometimes when it's very important when there's a disorder. And this is the Ramah's understanding. How do we know this? Basically, we know this from a different one of his mass, which is called giving the Torah. And Mitzvahs are also one of the Ibsh's mass. So as a kimto, circular. As a lacht means do whatever I tell you, which is me do, saying something. Okay, I'm not necessarily say. Okay. Okay, I'm saying, anyway, that's one thing, but the Ram doesn't understand that a lacht is not the unlike the Ramak, the, 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 it says that a lacht is kedai shi yeduvik bashem. In other words, that like there's a kind of dvaikas which is. Literally, as I, it is and the end of the Rambam that everyone likes to bring, it doesn't actually say this. But the the Andres Vido Andre mentioned and then that, that also means something like I'll tell you what the Nafkamin is. The Nafkamin is that if you have a good midas without like the Kavuna or something like that, or without the kind of good midas you're having, being that you're having good midas or something like that, then you're not having this like Merkova or this Dvaikas that. Uh, more Mekabulim kind of people will say. In other words, in other words, in other words, uh, okay, in other words, what is the reason? What is the reason for having a good midah, right? So for the Ramah, the reason is so that the city shouldn't fall apart. And of course, that itself is not the end reason. The reason for that is that you should learn. So in the end, it's called Mestich Lashem Shemayim, which come proud. But the reason, the direct reason why you have a good midah is not so you should be more like God. And and uh, he does say he does say in in the the zok the parak nidalich tait this language which is, which is uh, you know Plato's language kitachlis uda medames be be Hashem kafia efshe. But it doesn't say that that's the reason. Almost always when he talks about this, he says because you could say even favoste daiv today is ochet and chonachum backwards. But daiv shtra lines hot when it hot when it hot. When the hot rachmim is uh, notice that people should work, or so that the nature and so that, and so that the, someone should think. So it's not really like you can't. You understand what I'm saying? You could say I have rachmim because I'm learning from the Ibish and I want to be like the Ibish there. But why does the Ibish have rachmim? So it could be uh, that that doesn't help us even because we end up in the same in the same problem. Uh, I'm not seeing the solution over here that I said. Um, it brings that lotion somewhere. Uh, it could be. Um. Oh, it does say here the end. Ketachlas malas udem aydumis beis alek fi ayichoyles kloy mesh nedam pitlay sain kipilay sal. Also, if it's just that mahi and mechil. And uh, the kill because this is the reason he says this only so we shouldn't think that I was dressed to Adam. But the point is, that's what I'm saying. So, so why is the Ibish's pillars also have a tachlis? And his pillars, tachlis of his pillars, even if you're like him, are not for themselves. So the Ibish is not for the Ibish. That's true. The Ibish is Right. In other words, uh, he makes the, the, the order of the world, which is like this whole kind of anoikim sometimes, and most of the time it's rachmim and so on. And the world itself, the tachlis from the from the Bria itself, is going to be no, not for have, itself. We don't have anything from the Bria. The Rebbeinu Shlom has to bring the common the Bria because the Rebbeinu Shlom made the Bria. We do. No, we do. We do. Okay. We do. We have the same chesed as him. No, it's the same chesed. No, but it's the same chesed. It, it begins like that, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know. Well, because that that because in other words, if you say that. Uh, I'm telling you that's I'm not. This is a problem that everyone likes talking about. I'm not. I'm not so happy with this whole problem. But uh, in other words, Al Kapunim. It's clear by the Ram that the reason you should have Brachmunis. I don't think the reason is that you should have Brachmunis is to be like God. The reason you should have Brachmunis is the direct reason. Maybe the way the mitzvah works is like this and other things. 
is, is so that the uh, is an important thing for, for the same reason Irish has a like I'm saying, because it has to work. And then, and then uh, what I'm saying, and then that, uh, so that's, that's the, the that's, what I'm saying. that's one other way. There's another, there's, there's, that's one way in which we could say, unlike what I'm saying now, another way we could say, unlike what I'm saying, or what it says in all these places that I'm saying here, is, is that uh, another thing where we could say is different is what it says in 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 Shmuel Prokem in some sense, and what it says in uh, in Chalik Aleph and in different Prokem, which is that there is midas that don't let people think. And I think that those midas are not the same as that's what it seems to me. And no, no, you could always um, and it could also make a difference. Maybe. Labush, maybe well, like we said, maybe what he says that Hamtochem has different halachas is because of this. Or maybe what he says the stira about caste, maybe it's because of this also. At least it's starkly because of this. In other words, you could say something like, yes, in order to, for a good society, then you should have caste sometimes, and that's why even the Rambam was boy that you should pretend to have caste sometimes again, like the Ibsh to pretend. But but for yourself, in order to think, uh, caste is the hapech from Sayachol. Kolakoy is obviously not a rational thing. I mean, again, it's not clear it's not a rational thing, but that's the uh, argument here. That yeah, you don't you can't think while you're mad. It's like mamish plain astira, just like you can't think while you're fressing, and that's what the uh, and therefore it's very bad to be mad or to fress, not because it's gonna hurt your wife, because it doesn't hurt her, or maybe it's a kim So <laughs> sometimes lafia lafia inyan lafia lafia inyan, and not only that, it's needed for the faket. For maybe the rugas amadina needs you to have kas, because otherwise it's an hefkevelt, or at least the shoka. But for you to be masik to be masik, you can't have kas. So these are these are stickle, these are this is a third thing. This is not a damas baboira. This is back to the more rambamist way of saying usually the normal way of saying like, which is that a damas baboira is only la la asiga sabayra, but even la asiga sabayra needs betarachuna. So it's not betar the mass itself, but betarachuna, the chuna of being masiga Hashem is to not be baltava and not to, to have good midas and in other words to do to not do anything that bothers his bondness, that bothers uh, school, and that's that's a whole different. Uh, Thing. And you could also say more broader that Chavais, maybe because uh, I always have the problem that this is like Bashas Mas, okay, but now I'm very calm, so I could think about Hashem. But maybe Hashem doesn't like that people that I murdered people yesterday think about him, and somehow causes you not to be able to think about him if you're Arusha. This is more like, no, same thing of Achuna, just in a more like Chsidish uh, way, in a more like if I get directly explained, but it could be also true. Uh, in other words, that's another sense in which mine uh, a I think like this. Let's say things. Yeah, things like this. Right, right. All kind of things like this that made this become a chuna. So, in other words, in other words, there's these three theories of midas. Very, very, very important to remember. There's three different theories, right? The first theory is that midas have to do with shlamis hagif. There's the Ramam's theory over here, and right, and in that sense. Shlaimus have Medina, which is Shlaimus Hagif, because, like it says in Parikh of Zion, I didn't read you with you that shtickle. The next shtickle it says that the reason why we need Shlaimus Medina is so that your body should be Shulim, because Anish that Mutharagin of Agashmi is the reason. What's the point of having a city? There's no point in having a city in the Shamatma. The point of a city is that each person in the city should be safe and healthy. So, that, in that sense, the Midas Toivis, which have a good Medina, are only in order that Pai the Gimel of the Chazai should work, which is a Shoyus Hagif Shulim at Ark Hashem, and I give Shulim at the Kenneth Rechm. So in that sense, it's Achuna, of course, it's part of Yim Sechel Hashem Shemaim. You have to have the kavuna, maybe even, but it's the, it's 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 the achuna of having a good society, a good city. So in order you should be able to live the gashmias, the gift, and then you'll when you'll be able to live with then you'll be able to think if you'll if you'll next step. Right? That's that the first the first theory. That's the theory that he says here befirish. In uh, I think also in the chazdai it's befirish. This this mostly this this theory. Then there's the second thing which we said, which is also in the Koyer and the Chazayit, which is the thing since the Chazayit himself says, Wech mitzvah is to get a mitzvah, and the Ramah made up a mitzvah. Come on, it's the Ramah Chazal, but like he made it one of the Tarek mitzvahs, like a big Chiddush Tekel, which is the mitzvah of Alach to And the Ramah doesn't say, he doesn't say in the Chazayit that the reason for this mitzvah is like, Kedayli duvik boil dai as he is to the It does say, like you said, there's places where he says that, and other people say things like this. In other words, if you want to be like God, uh, and the Ramah maybe in the end of the Moir it says like this, maybe in, in this Tekel where he saw it, he said like this. Uh, you want to be like God, so act like God. Uh, that's what it means to be to be duvik in God. That is uh, duvik in midoisa. That's the mam literally. This mam has all of a duvik in midoisa. But Ram seems to here understand that that is. Uh, you could say things like this, and I said that it seems to make a difference of the kavuna. Maybe it's not a good kavuna to say I'm having good midas 
you know, to be dovik in God because God isn't dovik in God, you know. Uh, that's always a problem. Yeah. No, because like, no, I'm serious because not no, that's a silly way of saying it. But because as if I know, sometimes it's a problem that it, that someone is like uh, is um, in other words, like we said, the first way of good midas makes good midas about the other people. And the other ways, all the two other ways make good myths about yourself. Now, but I'm also asking, but I'm also always says that goodness is about yourself, in the sense of it's training yourself, but it's training yourself for the te'elis of the others, not for yourself. And the says the fairish in the end of in Chaylek Gimel Berk Nidal that midas toivus, if you would have, if you would have lived. I don't know if the kavuna of the mass, the mass is for Yerem. No, but I saw the and the Ramam, There's like in, in both ways it's the opposite. In other words, the doing is is on yourself. You're working on yourself, right? That's because it's not the chikim. The chikim are, are for everyone. I'm not, we're talking about the personal. You should have good midas. And like even when you give to look a hundred times, the uraman like the, that condition, right? It does make a difference to the man if you give it a hundred times separately or one big time, right? But the difference is the you no know, whatever the, the things illusion the the mitzvah where it says you know. The Ram says you should give it to look a lot of times, right? And I saw it's a whole hakira on the internet. If you make the app, was get the alliance and talk to him. He's the Indian. But get said, not sure. It's like another Indian that you're right, you know. We'll separate it. We'll make a Kenyan every day for another shtickle to the man. So, but get said, um, that's it's selfish in a certain sense, right? Now, selfish is not a problem. The Ram doesn't have this category of selfishness. It's not a problem for him. Everything is selfish. In the end of the day, but selfish and what we call selfish, selfish, he doesn't think of selfishness as a problem. But it's, I think it's an, um, it's, uh, it's not correct. In other words, it's not true in the first sense that we're saying. It's not true that the reason you should train yourself to be a gitta that gives sadoka is so that you should be, you should have some kind of shlimus. It's not a, it's not a shlimus for you that that's a shlimus. It's a social shlimus. It's a shlimus that two people like that they should have the belt. If you do be without it, that one person like that it makes no difference. That's the theory. So therefore, I'm not talking about your kavuna. Your kavuna is always going to be for yourself in some sense, and always not for yourself in some sense. It's not natural. It's not the problem of selfishness, but it's just not correct that it's for your. It's not that you should be, like it says, even when we, even when we say v'lach to it's that your actions should be like the Irish's actions, which means uh, acting outside of you. It says both. Yeah, the Rambam never. Uh, the Rambam, the Rambam, uh, the Rambam has only that Gersa, or he wasn't Gersa, the other one, or whatever it is. That's took a suicide in Chazal. The Rambam, oh, the Rambam, because of his belief that Ibsh doesn't have feelings, or to Adam, has to say that it's only about Masa. Yeah. No, that's why he says my he misnag berachmunis or whatever. He literally quotes it like this: my nikra rachem. He says sometimes, and uh, according to the Rambam, it's only a mitzvah to act rachmunis, not a mitzvah to feel rachmunis. Um, of course, the mitzvah to act is so you should feel and you should act next time. Uh, so it's your mitzvah to feel, but finish the shem feel. Uh, so that's, that's the second thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's why I don't know to what extent this is like, it's like a, you're better. Like the, it says the fetish, and, and I think this is the clearest place where it says the fetish, it explicitly denies it. And you, in order to make this work with a different theory, you have to like kvetch. And I don't like to do that. So it explicitly denies in the end of Noir and Nevochem that Shleim is some this is for yourself. Of course, you can say, what does it mean for yourself? Okay. The question is if that's the end goal of it. So As a, no, but the definition is that this is something, like, again, a person is a social animal, so the whole thing of saying, like, if a person would have been in a vowel, because you don't survive in a vowel, at least normally, unless sometimes in the weird situations, in general, a person doesn't actually survive in the vowel, so it's not relevant. But uh, that's what, in general, okay. But maybe, as yes, it doesn't say this. And the Mekabulim, a lot of people, are much more happy with those kind of things. Uh, interestingly, in other words, the but yet. you have to be medavik only be medoisav, more literally, because the mekabula make the medoisav much more important than asugas atzmisa, which was the Rambam's dvaikus uh, end goal, but and because they don't really believe that one is possible or something like that. Mostly. Nishkachalik, but that's that's it turns out to be like this. So they're talking about massa, of course. No, the sai chikushtan. That's not another yeah, another problem. Okay, okay, it's not a problem. But the Ram, no, the Ram, the Ram, the Ram doesn't actually, uh, no, the Ram doesn't actually hold like this. In other words, uh, for sure more than he, he for sure wants more than that. If she's in the ganz megle, chadanish, it's not a problem. He'll zich emir, er me de baltani will zich emir, and the kitze. Um, now, and the third thing, like you're saying, then the third theory, which is more closer to the theory of a koma sechlesh which it says in Pyrrhic. And uh, Gimel, right? 
and might have, and push my nafrukim more about Yichas and Paidikai, I think, and in Paidik Gimel of Yichas Yadayis, which is that, of course, and of course, it's not a stira. This this second thing is not a stira. What we said, which is, but it's a stira, and so, only in one sense, the stira in that there are some midas that are not needed for a city. In other words, a city. Uh, in a city, you're not helping anyone by fasting, but you might be helping yourself. Right. Because it's possible that in order to be Yosheb again, if you had any, maybe someone else getting shikir is helping a bad No, not, it becomes very individual. It's Nishkar Alocha. But in the city doesn't need any misakfim and so on. But it doesn't mean that for you to be Masag Hashem, you, have to, you could be a freser. So that's why there's a difference with like Mitzvah, for Tam Tuchem, or Mitzvah, for, uh, and so on. And for a Talmud Chochem, lo yeh amutzi atz le'ishtoi, why not? We make, yeah, but le'en and kemer is a little bit sad. So if you want to be a Talmud Chochem, you have to be mad with tanigim, l'shem Talmud Chochem. And that's a sense in which middas are, uh, and totally, uh, like I said, the earlier middas are also really clear this, so there should be a city, and so that that's it, there should be a Talmud Chochem. So, <laughs> but... But when you're wearing Talmud Chochem, then you have different midas that I'm not sure if they're the same Deir Chamitz. Maybe they're going out of Deir Chamitz, or maybe they're based on a whole different structure than Deir Chamitz uh, has to do with Astira and, uh, and Aristotle's ethics already, with uh, if the Tachlis is to live an active life or a contemplative life. And if you want a contemplative life, then you're going to have certain midas, of course. But then it's almost literally Achun. It's like maybe it's even hard to call those midas. Maybe they're just like Hilchis Talmud Chochem. In order to learn, you have to, in the middle of learning, or maybe if you want to be a kind of person that's, uh, uh, you have to, yes, that takes a lot of time, and therefore, like it said, Moshe Lech Islam Toyer has this, whatever that means, right? But, yeah, yeah, that's what I said, there's a different level, it's saying clearly, you want to be a, you want to be Yoyz Lech Islam Toyer, Slenen, your clue, yeah, whatever that look is, exactly. But if you want to really know the Toyer, listen to me, it takes, it takes all your nights. Okay, it's the Mishnah, no problem, you're not going to be, that's, that's a whole different kind of middis. I don't even know if we call that middis. The Mishnah went, when, so that's very, very interesting, the Mishnah is very, very big in middis. The Mishnah talks about middis, and he means the first thing, in most, for the most part. Sometimes he uses the second thing, uh, and the third thing, in order to be more of you, but it really means the first thing. That's, that's step one, he's like still by step one, he's like saying, Listen, maybe we'll get to step two and off at some point, but we're not still by step one, and it's very important. And like maybe sometimes he says that that's the only step that exists, like some theory that enough shum came today, right? Then there's like uh, uh, when the Ramak talks about this, he's talking about the second thing. The Talmud word is based on hudam tzurich li'davag bekoinoi, and of course he believes in this. He makes this like a very big thing over there, but it's more. It's about he says it says it's like a very weird thing, which is like. Actually, the Ramak says and over there, it's, uh, the first sheet of Termit Vayr says that the Ikir Tzir El Yoyin is the Maasim, Nishde to me. Sagam, Eglat, and Nishde is halfway Zanam, it's like halfway Zanam, it's not halfway Zanam, so it's true that your literal Ivarim are somehow, but say the Mu'alian, by the Derech Mushl, by the Derech symbol or something. But the Maas, the Ayyub Tatech Hashkan Ayyub, the Ayyub Tatech action. So if you're going to be, uh, you're going to look like the Ayyub, but not act like him, is Makkish, that's the Ramak's that's the Ramak's Nisach. It's very interesting Nisach, because the Ramam would say that you're not Makkish anything, you're just not a mensch. Okay, in some sense, maybe you could, I don't know. But he like, connects these two things, and then he goes back to the Ikra Avoid Zaldeir Haramban. So the Ramak's uh, has to, but, he's still, but his Avoid is still not the Ramam in the sense of like, you should just be a good person, because he does want you to have the Kavuna, and he wants you to like, even wants you to have the Ram also wants this. He even wants you to have middas that are literally not human but divine, like, like the middle from case that all these middas of being mevater is so extremely, which are not human. He agrees that maybe only Shabbos should do it. It's not mentioned. It's even the Rambam in Parak Nindal where he talks about not having any feelings and only being also talking about being mamish divine. Maybe that's the Nikidah on which he says that you should be mamish because that's not even actions already. If like being so mifshet that you don't really care, you only do what's the right thing. This shenagan, this shemamish, I get lechesat mensh. That's also like not enough kaminah. It's not only the kavun. It's also like having mamish midas that are get lechem midas. Yeah, it's like midas that you can't imagine any person having them. Only a god, or like if you see a person doing that, you'll say he's a god. You know, like uh, the kids say, or kemat. You know, or less than bernash. The Rama in the I don't think he has those kind of midas. Like. Almost uh, like Mechlal, the Chazdaiz doesn't have like the Midas Chesidus, almost doesn't have any of these extreme things. It only has, maybe in, in other places it does have things like that. Uh, that's the second, the second uh, thing, like that at the end. But then, Lemushl, Reb Chaim Vital, in the Red Vegan in Shalik Disha, where he says that Midas are more important than the whole Torah. And 
uh, has a, is working with the third theory, something closer to the third theory. Because Abraham Tal says, well, he has the whole theory that there's the Levish, getting the Torah from the Levish, uh, which is another old thing. But the Abraham Tal, it's in, in, in general, works with this kind of theory of the Kmidas being a Hachun. In other words, the real, real Devaikas or real Shlamis is going to be some kind of, uh, okay, maybe it doesn't call it Tzaychel, some kind of Ashru, or some kind of Devaikas, uh, more, more than just having good actions and even good feelings. That's not the ultimate goal. But the Pchamench and whatever order, whatever Tvaikas or whatever cycle you're going to have is going to have to go to you. And like his, his like image is like if you're, if you're Kaila Schmitzig, it's not going to, if you're dirty, uh, if you have a dirty window, the sun is not going to shine through. And Midas are the most important part or a w- important part of the window. Also, the whole Tarek Mitzvah and so on, but Midas in a certain sense like a different category by him than Tarek Mitzvah Mas, yes? Although in the Ramam, just one other mitzvah. So this is again the chilek that we discuss always. But the Ramam, all these things are literally the mitzvah. So it's not like he never has. The Ramam, in a certain sense, we discussed this in the beginning, getting first sheet on this series, that the Ramam always has, all of his panemius things are literally the mitzvahs. He doesn't have like pshat and sot. He doesn't like that in, in, Nishna, modern, in Nishna Mishnah Torah. It's always like, amena, yamidi, sashem, there's the mitzvah. It's not like the whole Torah is math, but there's something beyond the Torah. It doesn't have anything beyond the Torah, but what he does in order to do that, he just literally just says the Torah is that. He doesn't have like uh, this whole Pnimi Sechatsonius thing going on. The Makabulim are much more comfortable, and the Ramam himself in other places, but the Makabulim are much more comfortable with like saying, yeah, the whole Torah, the Shat is one thing, but the Pishat is another thing, and it's nothing to do with the whole Torah. <laughs> it's another whole level. Like the Bukhana Talib, it doesn't say that Mitzvah is Midas Torah, it's not Mitzvah. When he says so, he also said it doesn't matter to the Dr. There's the machlokes. There's the machlokes. Yeah, there's machlokes. Now to understand. I'll go put them. There's some. There's some. The kids in general. The Ramam. Yeah, the Ramam is much closer to saying that this is what it says in the Torah, and not having two Torahs, not having a, a Torah for. And there's there's machlokes out there. Read that also. But the Mekbulim take this in the radical days. In other words, the people that read the, what they really say, usually say it the worst thing than the Ramam. In other words, they don't say that the Torah Torah days. They say I'm asking that Torah says something else. But the Torah is just a levish for the real Torah, or something like that. The Stad Neferish, Mach Shazar, and 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 this is a difference. Like in Mitala, back to our, I'm not going to say, but I think vector of in Rebbeim Mitala, Mushlul Midas. I don't remember if he has Midas as a mitzvah, but at least even if he does count it, I don't remember. I forgot to buy the Shadik dish, only about the word Chalik. But uh, and uh, and uh, he doesn't say that the mitzvahs, the Midas, are just another mitzvah. Another whole, even if they're another mitzvah, another whole category. Of course, the Ramadan also has a whole category of mitzvah, like we discussed, but just 11 of the Tariq mitzvahs, or maybe even more, like we say, there's a psychilic, but it's mamish a mitzvah itself. But in any case, there's a nacha chilik. But the ikazach is ba'em, it's like a achuna in, in this sense, more like to have to clarify your mind or your, yeah. your kailim in order to receive the art, whether the art is saich or the art is something beyond saich, whatever it is, it, it's a whole different thing. Not the mitzvah itself is a mitzvah or a good thing or a merkova deshchena. Maybe also true, but it's not like what he's focused on. He's focused on the Midas as like this uh, things that, and that's again, that's something that the Ramam says in Chaylik Alf and where he talks about things that are Menaya Hasukah and Parik Lama Dalit. I don't remember, and also in Shmuel Plokim in the end, where he talks about the Mechitzas. Uh, he says this, that's his theory, and I don't think it says Nochazda is that theory at all. I wonder, but that is, I don't remember it saying Nochazda is Bechlam, that, that Nechedah. Maybe that's not like, that's already not a mitzvah. Maybe this is like a, <laughs> maybe, maybe Chaimotel is right that that kind of medicine is come. It's, it's only like, uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe it would be like part of mitzvah sahab Hashem or mitzvah sidi Hashem. I don't know. Say in do. Oh, there's other interesting. Okay, but kids, that's, that's my general thing with Filchaz Dias for today, I think. Stimmt.